Y'all ready? Let's go. Hey, my peeps, it's about to go down. If you like what you see, stay and chill for a while. Hit the bell, thumbs it up, subscribe to our channel. We're going to have fun and do this keto bong. Pizza keto bong. Y'all, I am so excited. I haven't tasted it. Um, my mouth, I'm just, oh, it's, I haven't eaten all day. It's hot here in Texas, y'all. It's like 74 degrees. It's hot. I got out the shower. I was going to try to be all cute. My hair wasn't having it, so my pizza was getting cold. Cute, hot pizza, cute, hot pizza, pizza one. Let's say grace. Thank you, dear Father, for the food you have given us. In Jesus' name, we are truly thankful. Amen. Guys, we have fathead pizza. It looks so delicious. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. If not, we're just going to drive home and we're going to eat. And I have a little salad just to have something on the side. And, of course, I have my water. Can't do without my water. And, uh, yeah, guys, I'm ready to dig off into this. Um, I'll leave the uh, how I made this in the description box below. And let's get in here and see what this is going to what it's about. Mm. Yes, y'all. Mm. Mm. I'm lost for words. I have been wanting pizza. Y'all. This is delicious. And there are two carbs per slice. Mm -hmm. Y'all, there may not be a lot of talking in this one because, baby, this is good. Mm. I will say. I want to say I can't tell it's not pizza. You know, the real stuff. But I really can't. The crust is a little softer. It's good. Mmm. I'm so in totally impressed on how good that is. Wow. I made the salad just in case this didn't taste good. I'd have like a backup. So good. And the crust is crunchy. It's not like crispy crunchy. But it's got a nice crust. You want a bite? Mmm. Show you the back of it. Mmm. Yeah, I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for words. And that does not happen often. Mm. Mm. That's so good. Yeah, y'all, it's like 70 something degrees. Oh, I'm looking at a hot, hot mess. But I promise you. I was like, do I want to be cute or do I want to eat hot food? Oh, so good. I said I 
What I have on my pizza is pepperoni, mushrooms, and onion. Mm. Mozzarella cheese and a blend of Mexican pizza cheese. Oh, and jalapenos. Mmm, y'all. And I'll tell y'all, but I'll also put it in the description box below. I may put the ingredients up here. Whatever the stuff I wanted on there. Mm. That's so good. Can y'all see? It looks backwards from here. If I drop this, y'all, <laughs> my animals will be happy. Mm. It's so good. Very beautiful. <laughs> y'all, it's so, so good. So, okay. Enough of being all excited about this dang pizza. Because, y'all, this is really good. How y'all doing? Everybody doing good, I hope. I'm doing good. The swelling in my legs gone down. Mm. A little. It's still a little swollen. Now they're got thinking that it had nothing to do with the, the almond flour. Could have had a little bit to do with it, but it wasn't major with it. It's just some other issues that I have going on. So I'm still going to still clear of that for right now. Um, but yeah, I'm doing better, guys. I haven't got on the scale to see if any weight loss. Things are fitting different, though, but... I haven't got on the scale. Sometimes that scale can really deter you from really losing weight. Especially if it doesn't move. But your clothes fit different, so don't always go by the scale. I don't. But uh, I'm sticking to it. I think I'm doing good. I'm enjoying the food, obviously. I'm doing a whole lot more cooking. My husband cooks all the time. Um, yeah, so I said, now I'm going to go in there and I'm going to try to do some things, uh, keto. He's like, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. That's good, y'all. Mmm. And to reheat this, you just pop it in the oven, a heated oven, or the fry air fryer for just a few minutes and just let the cheese melt up. It's so good. I really have nothing to talk about. I'm mean, at a loss for how delicious it is. This is my new favorite. It took me a little longer to make it today because I've never made it before. But now that I can make it, I guess I should say, now that I have experience making it, it'll be so easy. So easy. It probably won't take maybe about 10 minutes. Um, because most of your ingredients are already cut, chopped. I just had to cut some onions. 
the pepperonis already sliced or whatever kind of meat you want to put on there. And um, yeah, y'all. Uh, excuse me. Mm. Oh, so good. Why I'm thinking about it, I'm not talking about anybody in, directly. There's just a lot of things I see on YouTube. Guys, I'm a small channel. People don't see me. And I, hey, it is what it is. Maybe one day they will. But the channels that are out there, there's a lot of weight loss channels. And I mean, be encouraging you know lift them up encourage them now with that being said you've got some weight loss channels out weight loss channels out there that keep saying oh i'm losing weight i'm losing weight i'm losing weight and you just you don't see the progress and guys i touched on this the other day i can sit here and cheat myself all day long off this camera I can go pick out all those brownies my husband has sitting there that are killing me. Oh my God, they have chocolate chip in it. But if I go eat those brownies and I come back here every day and I'm not losing weight, you guys are going to be like, what is she? What's really going on? So I can cheat myself. Now my hair is like really messed up. <laughs> I can cheat myself daily. Daily. Well, who am I really cheating? Me. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm not going to name any channels. I support them. But there's a couple of channels that they talk about, they get mad at their subscribers, first of all, for saying, you know, stuff like, hey, what are you eating a day? Didn't look like you're losing weight. And that's okay, because I may not look like I'm losing weight. I feel like I'm losing weight. I have lost some weight. But it's the way you do it. And if you're, if I'm going to come on here and eat healthy here, but go eat those brownies. Y'all realize those brownies are, yeah, they're calling my name. But I got it. But then who am I really cheating? I mean, I'm, I'm being false. I'm being fake. I'm not being real. So, Stop saying you're dieting if you're not dieting. I mean, if you're not going to do it, don't do it. If you're struggling and you're dieting and you run over and eating the brownies, say, hey, guys, I'm trying. I'm eating this keto salad or I'm eating this salad or whatever diet you're doing. But I fell short. I failed. I went over and I had a brownie. You know, and, and I'm struggling with, with staying on my diet. I don't know. I, I just think honesty and everything is best. And I went off on a whole other topic of what I was going to talk about. I can't remember what I was going to say. Basically, you know, it goes both ways. If you're doing a diet and you're eating and you're frustrated with your subscribers, okay, you can say something. Vice versa. If you're watching someone and you're frustrated, with their lack of progress you can say something but guys it's all in how you say it there's a way to and not to say something that's all i'm saying um i support a lot of weight loss channels and i see a lot of them that really irritate me sometimes because i don't know i'm new to the whole mukbang thing so maybe the clickbait and the all the other stuff i just hadn't caught into i don't know I don't know. And we'll just leave it at that. But be kind to one another. That's what my message is here. Be kind to one another. You never know what somebody else is going through. You just don't. It may be that encouraging. It may be that encouraging words you said that day. That put that person. In the right path. Or vice versa. That person may come on and do an awesome mukbang or just an awesome discussion on their weight loss and you might have encouraged your viewers so 
Let's be kind to one another. Let's be kind to one another. Mmm. That was last does me wrong every time. And here's to Black History Month, y'all. Go educate yourself. Go read up. And let's just love each other. It's so good. I'm stabbing that lettuce like mad crazy. <laughs> Mm. I mean, I have four. This would be eight carbs. Can I finish up? I've eaten nothing all day. But I wanted a brownie. <laughs> Actually, the brownies are over there, but it's just motivation for me to be like, you got this. You got it. You don't need the brownie. And I will say, this is the second batch of brownies he's made. About three days ago, he made a batch of brownies and he had eaten all of it. And there was like a little bitty thin, like this, thin crust stuck to the outside <laughs> my shameful moment job stuck to the outside of the container that he the glass you know thing that he made it in and i was washing dishes and i was, and I was like <laughs> that's how come i know it has chocolate little morsels in it because i gotta buy the chocolate morsel was it a cheat was it a cheat eh. it was what it was but it was dang good but so yeah They're there. But it's okay. It just makes me stronger, like I said. Mm. Guys, I have some stuff I was going to talk to y'all about. And I just had to wing it. Because I was not expecting this pizza to be this doggone good. Even if you're not doing keto. If you're just sitting around at home. You could do this with just regular flour too. I'm pretty sure you can. Um, and you and your kids just want to make something, you know, a late night snack. And you got your cheese, your mozzarella, cream cheese, egg, and any kind of little toppings. This is a good, healthy little meal just to make with, with your husband, your wife, your kids. You don't have to be on a diet to, to make it. Because it is really good. Mm. I, I, I promise you. I'm tasting right now. I, I'm like literally looking at you guys. Really tasting the food. Trying to see how much of a difference this would be with the uh, the regular crust. I mean, it'd be delicious, don't get me wrong. But for an awesome alternative, this is amazing. I don't even miss the crust. In fact, I'm so excited that I'm having pizza. I'm not missing the crust. And I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. Like, it's giving me life here, guys. Loving it. Mm. Just a flesh. Mmm. Okay, guys. Oh, I'm stuffed. Probably overdid it because that was the bomb dot com right there, y'all. Mm. I had a little story for y'all. A little mm -hmm. true crime story. Psh, it totally went away after I started eating this. So, yeah, guys. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I wanna say to you guys, I thank y'all so much for coming and watching me because you didn't have to, and I appreciate you doing so. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, make it turn gray. We appreciate you and we love you for coming. And if you haven't already done so, hit that notification bell so you'll be first to get our, no our uh, videos when they upload. And to all of my day ones, mm, love you guys. Thank y'all so much for the support. And uh, y'all keep me going. Y'all keep me focused. When I look at those brownies, I do it for me. But I also am like, oh, okay. I could cheat me easily. But if I'm cheating me, I'm cheating y'all. So with that being said, guys, I love you guys. Y'all, I appreciate everything y'all do. So tomorrow we're going to do a lasagna. Oh my gosh. It's going to be good. It, it's tomorrow. I'm trying to upload... Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. I think those are going to be my days that I'm going to start uploading. Um, so I'm trying to get on a schedule and I'm going to be putting my videos out about 6.15 to 7 o'clock in the morning. So y'all can look forward to that. And I'll also put that in my uh, my box because I was just uploading sporadically whenever. But, you know, I'm growing with YouTube. I'm learning. So we're going to try to be more sufficient on what we're doing. But, uh... Yeah, guys, I love you guys, and I thank you each and every one of y'all. Again, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. If you haven't hit that notification bell, hit that notification bell. And share us out. Share us out with any and everyone. Let them know what your girl's doing over here. I'm working hard to lose this weight. Send some people my way. Let them know. And um, if you haven't done so, you can go look, find me on all social medias. Facebook, Twitter, um, Snapchat, Instagram. TikTok, YouTube. There's a few other ones that I haven't been on in a while. I'm all under Sky Ray Eats or Skylar Roundtree. Y'all go look me up. Go hit your girl up. Anyway, guys, we're going to close this out. I'm going to give my husband some of this pizza. So I'm fat and full with fathead pizza. That's what it's called, fathead pizza. Anyway, guys, peace out, guys. Mwah.